The latest drama involving Kris Jenner and her longtime boyfriend, Corey Gamble, is nothing short of explosive. According to rumors, Corey not only dumped Kris but also slapped her in the face, calling her an old ugly lady. If that wasn't enough, he's allegedly made off with a staggering $500 million of Chris's money. From the beginning, there were whispers that Corey was more interested in Chris's wealth than in her, and it seems those suspicions might have some truth to them. This dramatic fallout has everyone talking and is another major scandal for the Kardashian-Jenner matriarch to handle. Kris Jenner, known for her tough-as-nails persona and savvy business acumen, is now dealing with personal betrayal on a massive scale. The alleged theft of $500 million is a huge blow and raises serious questions about trust and loyalty in her personal life. The public is waiting to see how Chris will respond to these devastating accusations. Will she take legal action against Corey, or will she handle the scandal in a typically dramatic Kardashian style? One thing is for sure, this saga will keep unfolding, and the fallout could be monumental. Stay tuned because when it comes to the Kardashian-Jenner clan, the drama is never-ending, and this latest twist is one for the books. After enduring two unsuccessful marriages, Kris Jenner found solace in Corey Gamble, who vowed to remain faithful and never abandon her. However, the harsh truth seems to contradict his promises. Is Corey truly the man he portrays himself to be, or is he entangled in a web of deceit? While Chris and Corey appear to share a strong, respectful, and supportive bond, it's peculiar that no one has ever encountered his family. Whispers even suggest that Corey was strategically placed to infiltrate the Kardashian clan. Corey, who is 25 years Chris Jenner's junior, has been her partner for nearly a decade, yet their once supportive relationship has now suffered irreparable harm. Reports indicate that Corey recently ended the relationship for an inexplicable reason, leaving Chris furious. An insider revealed that Chris feels Corey has shown his true nature, and she's struggling to come to terms with it. Their journey began in 2014 at a party during Chris's separation from Caitlyn Jenner. Despite the timing, Corey confidently approached the reality star to introduce himself, setting the stage for their future together. At the time, Corey was working for Scooter Braun as Justin Bieber's tour manager. The couple quickly became inseparable, frequently seen on dinner dates and taking trips to Mexico just a few months after meeting. Corey made his first appearance on Keeping Up with the Kardashians in March 2015. Chris's daughters discussed their mother's new relationship, voicing concerns about the couple's significant age difference and suggesting that Chris might be moving too fast. Just two months later, Chris and Corey made their red carpet debut at the prestigious Met Gala, donning all-black outfits for the occasion. While all of the Kardashian sisters initially had reservations about Chris's relationship with Corey, Khloe remained uncertain even several years into the partnership. In the January 2018 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Khloe confronted Corey about his often distant behavior towards her, expressing a desire to feel more at ease with their relationship. Despite this tension, Chris and Corey continued their romance, vacationing in the south of France. The couple was spotted holding hands around Antives. Engagement rumors swirled soon after when Chris was seen wearing a large diamond ring. When asked about it on The Late Late Show with James Corden, Chris fueled speculation by choosing to eat a cricket instead of answering questions about the ring during a game of Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts. The rumor mill also buzzed with whispers that Chris and Corey might be secretly married. Real drama unfolded when Kanye West confronted Corey about his guarded nature during another episode of the show. Kim recounted how Kanye bluntly asked Corey why the Kardashian-Jenner family had never met his relatives. Although Kim disapproved of Kanye's approach, she understood his concern given Corey's privacy since dating Chris. Kolo sided with Canny, and the situation escalated during a family trip to Palm Springs, leading to heightened tensions. In one episode, Chris confronted Kolo about her behavior towards Corey. Kolo later apologized, telling her mom that she just wanted her to be happy and didn't mind who she dated as long as they treated her well. However, Canny's concerns were not unfounded. Why hadn't Corey introduced his family to Chris? Kenny claimed that Corey had ulterior motives and was there to infiltrate the Kardashian family. In a 2022 Instagram post, Kenny alleged that Corey had been close to Puff Daddy's family and Justin Bieber and inserted himself into Chris's life following her divorce. Kenny suggested that Corey might be working for an organization like DuPont. 
Kenny even posted a video of Corey kissing a young woman, although the video was quickly deleted. The Kardashian family dismissed Kanye as irrational, with Kim even considering placing him under conservatorship at one point. Things remained quiet for a while, but within the Kardashian inner circle, it became clear that Corey had indeed cheated. According to an insider, Corey was unfaithful to Chris with a close family friend at a private party they both attended. After Chris left the party early, Corey slipped into a room with this woman and several people saw them leave the party together. What do you think about this shocking turn of events? Did Corey Gamble betray Kris Jenner's trust for financial gain, or is there more to the story? Although the incident occurred a few months ago, Chris only recently learned about it, sparking a heated argument where Corey denied any wrongdoing. The situation escalated to the point where Kim confronted Corey at their home. Chris was devastated by the news and made every effort to keep the scandal from reaching the media, fearing the impact on her reputation. After two failed marriages, Chris was determined to avoid further controversy with Corey to maintain a positive public image. Chris's first marriage was to Robert Kardashian, a prominent attorney who rose to fame as one of O.G. Simpson's defense lawyers during the 1995 murder trial. After their divorce, Chris married Bruce Jenner, an Olympic gold medalist who later transitioned and became Caitlyn Jenner. Chris's marriages, especially her relationship with Caitlyn, have consistently captured media attention. Her reaction to Caitlyn's transition was mixed. She initially expressed support but also shared her emotional struggles and confusion as it impacted their long-term relationship and family dynamic. Public statements from both sides led to moments of tension, and currently, Chris and Caitlyn have no contact with each other. Given the negative media scrutiny surrounding her previous marriages, Chris was determined to keep any issues with Corey out of the spotlight. She often pretends everything is fine when the reality is quite different. Following Corey's cheating scandal, the couple's relationship took a downturn. Numerous arguments erupted, leading Chris to lose trust in Corey. These conflicts became so intense that Corey decided to temporarily leave Chris. According to an insider, Corey suggested taking a break to give them both some distance and time to think about what they want. He struggles with Chris's lack of trust in him. Despite the turmoil, Chris seems determined not to end the relationship, driven by a sense of shame. There are even rumors that the couple has considered therapy to work through their issues. Chris consistently tries to keep any negative relationship issues out of the spotlight, often pretending everything is fine when the reality is quite different. Now let's talk about Chris and Corey's relationship. These two have been an item for nearly a decade. First, there was Robert Kardashian, then Caitlyn Jenner, and now Corey Gamble. Chris's personal life continues to be a focal point of public interest, and this latest chapter with Corey is no exception. But hold on to your hats because here comes the kicker. Whispers are swirling that Corey might not just be Chris's boyfriend, he might be her husband, with a secret nuptial agreement and all. But back to the juicy stuff, did Kim really cozy up to Corey? Well, the grapevine seems to think so. But here's the real twist. It's not exactly sending Chris into a tailspin. Why? Because allegedly, Chris has a history of open-mindedness when it comes to her daughter's romantic escapades, even reportedly pimping them out to high-profile celebrities like Diddy. It seems like Kris Jenner's empire might be crumbling before our very eyes, the queen bee of reality TV is facing a mountain of problems, and this time her usual bag of tricks might not be enough to save her. Rumor has it that Chris is tangled up in a serious scandal involving none other than Diddy and his shady dealings. Word on the street is that Chris allegedly pimped out her own daughter, Kim Kardashian, to Diddy's infamous circle of associates. It's like something straight out of a Hollywood thriller. And if that bombshell wasn't enough, there's more bad news for Chris. Hulu, the streaming giant, just dropped a major bombshell of their own by canceling the Kardashian show. You can bet your bottom dollar that Chris is fuming about this one. It seems like Kris Jenner's troubles are piling up faster than ever. In a shocking turn of events, the IRS is reportedly slamming Chris over allegations of tax evasion through her California community church. This could have serious consequences for Chris and everyone associated with her. The IRS claims that Chris has been attempting to evade taxes not just for herself, but also for her children by hiding a substantial amount of money under the guise of the church. If these allegations hold true, it could mean trouble not only for Chris, but for her entire family as well. 
The potential repercussions are massive. The IRS has the power to seize Chris's bank accounts and properties, which could deal a devastating blow to her finances and reputation. And if criminal charges are brought against her, it could mean jail time for Chris and those involved. As the investigation unfolds, one thing's for certain. Chris Jenner's life is about to get a whole lot more complicated. Stay tuned because this could be the beginning of the end for the Kardashian matriarch. Chris founded the California Community Church in 2009, and now it seems that this very establishment might be at the center of her potential downfall. Previously known as the Life Change Church, Chris Jenner's California Community Church is now under scrutiny for its financial practices. Lead by Pastor Brad Johnson, a family friend of the Kardashians known for officiating Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom's wedding, the church's association with the Kardashian-Jenner family has raised eyebrows. While the Kardashians have shown a public association with religion on their reality shows, including prayers and social media posts, Chris's founding of her own church has sparked skepticism. Many speculate whether she established the church as a tax write-off, exploiting the practice of tithing, where 10% of earnings are traditionally given to the church. Critics point out that Chris also takes 10% of her children's earnings, leading to suspicions about the church's true purpose. Reports surfaced alleging that the California Community Church was involved in a tax scandal, failing to pay taxes in its early years. Although churches are generally exempt from federal, state, and local taxes, they must still pay taxes on payroll expenses, which reportedly the church neglected to do. This discrepancy fueled further doubts about Chris's financial management. The church's financial dealings include receiving funds from Kardashian charity auctions on eBay, potentially circumventing taxes on these donations. Additionally, the church charges a steep membership fee of $1,000 per month, raising questions about accessibility and whether it primarily caters to the wealthy. Amidst these financial controversies, questions persist about Kim Kardashian's finances and accusations that she has inflated her income and net worth. The entire situation surrounding Kris Jenner and her church appears dubious and has drawn considerable scrutiny, suggesting potential financial irregularities and mismanagement. 